hey everyone welcome back to the channel today we are going to discuss one more very important kubernetes interview question that is explain crash loop back off what i'm going to cover part of this video is what is crash loop back off the top causes behind this error how to figure out the root cause for this problem a hands-on demo explaining how this error comes how to troubleshoot it okay what is crash loop back off it means your container is crashing repeatedly for example we deployed a pod with a single container inside it that container is stopping and kubernetes is trying to restart again it's getting stopped restart this is what happens when we see crash loop back off inside kubernetes cluster why does crash loop back off happen here are the most common causes number one configuration errors bad environment variables missing secrets or config maps could cause this problem next one resource limits for example we allocated specific resources for a pod but the pod is trying to consume more than allocated resources this is one more reason for crash loop back off health checks are failing let's say liveness probes readiness probes if these health checks are failing kubernetes can restart continuously these pods and it can get into crash loop back off error let me show live demo how this crash loop back off happens I have written a sample app.yaml file, a very simple one. I'm using Alpine image. Keep in mind, Alpine image doesn't run any application. Because of that, when I deploy this pod, what happens? Container gets created, right? Because no application running on the container, it stops. Kubernetes will restart it. Again, it restarts. There is no application running on Alpine container. Again, it stops and it gets into this restart loop. That's where crash loop back off error come into picture. kubectl apply hyphen f app.yml the pod got created. and see this the status is crash loop back off now how do you troubleshoot this how do you know why the pod is getting into crash loop back off that let's see now use kubectl describe command let's give name of the pod before that pod check event section you see a bunch of events happening on kubernetes cluster see in this case we don't have any exception right alpine is just coming up and going off that's why kubernetes is trying to restart this pod continuously but in real world right that won't be the case you'll have application running on the container let's say the application is failing to initialize reading configuration files and something is missing in the configuration file such things so in real world when you run kubectl describe command you will get the information why exactly this is failing this is one command you must use for figuring out the root cause the next command to use is kubectl logs name of the pod Again, I said this is just a plain Alpine image, no application running. Obviously, there won't be any logs. But in real world case, you, you have application running on it, right? If it is failing to initialize, you can see those exceptions while running kubectl logs command. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching. See you again in next interview question.